Welcome back to Exponential Africa. Today in the studio, we have Paul Curry, who is joining us from the Development Bank of Southern Africa. Paul is the Chief Investment Officer of the DBSA and has had an incredible career that spanned over the last 25 years in banking and finance. Paul, welcome to the show. Thanks, Mick. The Development Bank of South Africa, we are proud to say, is a Singularity U South Africa country partner as our main collaboration partner, helping us try to create real impact in the country and across Africa. Paul, do you want to tell us a little bit about what is the DBSA, you know, what is it really about? Uh, Mick, the DBSA is a development finance institution and uh, what that really means is it uses a capital base to progress a development agenda. And by the de development agenda, it's a, it's a mix between a commercial element and a social element. The development agenda is really about additionality and what that means is we don't really go out to compete, but we go out to create a bigger um, opportunity. The development agenda of the DBSA is focused primarily in the infrastructure space. Um, the mandate of the DBSA is, is core infrastructure, which includes power, water, communications or ICT, and transport. Now, if, if one looks at the world that we're in at the moment, those segments are changing fast. And uh, really, it's important for the DBSA to stay ahead of where the world is in that and to ensure that our mandate, which is both within South Africa and the continent as a whole, is we are able to meet that through being able to understand how these needs can be addressed in those spaces. I mean, it's so interesting because you guys are really making incredible change in the country, yet you've been rather quiet in the press and things like that. You know, what are some of the things that you've seen over the last couple of years there? I mean, the, the, the organization really um, is not about being dramatic and being at the forefront. It's about making a difference at the end of the day, and that's core to the developmental space. And uh, we certainly endeavor to, to shift boundaries and to create these opportunities that I referred to earlier. I mean, one of the areas we played a key role in was in the, in the initial formulation of the renewable energy program where we funded the design and setup of the program in its infancy back in 2010. There, there are a number of other initiatives that we, that we are involved in both in the past and in the future. We are hopeful will also be fairly impactful in um, to real people on the ground because that's really what a development finance organization is about it's not about returning dividends in the form of cash to shareholders but rather being financially sustainable and and producing a dividend which is of value to society so you've actually identified that it's not only about physical infrastructure it's also about the digital infrastructure it's also about new ways of providing development and education to our youth yeah, I think if one looks at development, development's about I increasing the quality of people's lives. And uh, typically we look at um, people's needs through basic services, which is food and water and power, health, access to healthcare, access to education. Historically, infrastructure has been used to provide that in the form of bricks and mortar, big highways, um, telephone poles, big water pipes. Um, power transmission lines, big power stations. Technology is saying that it doesn't have to be that way anymore. And there are other ways of addressing areas that previously weren't serviced for a whole variety of reasons. And we think that's where a lot of this opportunity exists. I mean, if one takes a look at the, the classical Africa at night picture and we see the lack of access to power and energy, that's one of the key drivers to actually shifting all of this. And the technology now is, is, exists and is starting to become cheap enough to implement in these spaces. And it will be absolutely transformative if done correctly. And that leads me on to my next question, is that uh, the DBSA has partnered with Singularity U South Africa as our main collaboration partner, which is really exciting. And what are you seeing the impact of this partnership? I mean, I think this is at multiple layers because the, you know, the, it, it's easy to critique a situation like this. But in reality, the, the plus points for us is I, I think there's a, there's a great alignment between Singularity USA's Future Proof Africa concept and, and our vision of what we would like to provide from an infrastructure point of view. But also on top of that, it's about access to a depth and breadth of knowledge through the various programs that are available to be able to allow us to, to, to heighten the awareness of 
uh, our staff, our customers, our, um, our colleagues within government, and to generally increase the level of acceptance of what is out there. I mean, we, we certainly come from an organization that always put itself in a situation of best practice. In reality, best practice is probably one of the weaker things you can do at the moment because it's probably already out of date. Yes. So being able to understand what goes beyond best practice and being able to align your organization and its delivery to those is absolutely crucial if we're going to make, if we're going to reach the potential impact that we would like to reach. We've run out of time for the show. Thanks so much for, for taking the time to talk for us. It's been a privilege and uh, we're really excited to, to be on this journey with you guys. Um, and uh, thanks so much. Thanks, Mick.